now. Greetings, everybody. This is Harmony speaking on the ride home. And today we have Brian with us. Who's going to, uh, what we're going to talk about today, Brian? What do you want to talk about? Um, I'm just thinking of just random stuff. I'm just going to keep talking and putting random stuff out there that I know. See where it goes. <laughs> well, I'll let you start the first randomness. Did you want to say anything about QHHT or no? Nah. All right, well, I was wondering that video I sent you, but I, I can get into all that stuff some other time. But I just, I drew random pictures and really I'm doing all this because a lot of the things hiding in plain sight really annoy me. Um, well, well, that video will go up before this one. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because that's like a good segue. Okay. Into, when I go home, I'm going to post that video. Okay. Um, well, this first picture, there's a lot of people that do the tongue out thing. You know? Yeah. They, um, some of them, not all of them, so don't go on like a vandetta against everybody with who, who stick their tongue out a lot. But they literally have the ability to pull energy from people and eat it kind of like communion the energy orb comes out of the person it goes by their mouth and they literally goes on their tongue and they swallow it i'm telling you like all those people oh. huh yeah, well i'll explain why they stick their tongue out they're eating <laughs> yeah yeah some of them do especially some of the ones on tv they love being on tv because then they have a large audience and the em energy literally like comes through the camera to them kind of and that's why they're always like flicking their tongue and doing different stuff literally your energy comes out of you like an energy ball and they eat it which is completely against my will and i think it should be against the will of humanity and this should not have been hidden like i'm just stating and i think people need to state this that they have no right to eat my energy anymore and never did <laughs> no they never did but you know how they bend the rules all the rules yeah and then i made some other images and some of them are just like to annoy the right people <laughs> really and they they kind of look like they have something to do with your drawing but they don't like your drawing is kind of like the machine and this is just like a little section in the machine you know what i mean that like runs off the same principles but it's separate yeah but really i like made the drawings just to annoy the right people and i can try to explain some of them when i put them up oh where is it oh there we go this is just a lot of people won't understand it but it's kind of stuff going on in the sky with the sun what the sun really is and um beings taking and putting orbs in and out of the sun which i'm still trying to figure out if they're the good side or bad side and then there's another one that i'm pretty sure i forget the name of the thing they they say it's one of the ones that says it's a guardian of earth and whatever but this thing pops out of the bottom of the sun but you need to have your internal sun rays to really start seeing into dimensions and then there's stuff going on with purple and blue light and spirals. Um, and humans can connect with the sun too, like your internal sun to the external sun. Like a lot of it, okay, if there really is a sun simulator up there, it's not a, 
NASA doing it, unless NASA is working with these things, because I see them bring the stuff in to put in front of the sun. And really, it's to like block off the portal and try to get the energy from the sun the way that they want it, not the way that will wake us up. Right. Like, um, it's kind of like I said in that other video, how you see the man coming out of the sun and all the angels around it. It uh, kind of has something to do with all of that. It's part of the spiritual war. People that it all translates down to here. We're kind of like stuck in the middle of two places. We're stuck in the middle of above and below. But both of them affect us. That's why it's all like good, evil, and a bunch of different things. Let me put a different image. Some people are going to think this is all so absolutely nuts, but the right people will be like, uh oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, you're in the title of the video, so if people want to hear you, they'll hear you. Yeah, the right ones will hear, and then the ones that actually know what's going on are going to talk trash. I expect that, because that's how they run their whole campaign. Like, all these people on YouTube that do nothing but talk trash, they're part of the program. They're doing their jobs. And then other ones are bringing up, like, Mockingbird. You know, that whole Mockingbird program? No, I don't know about it. Well, it's basically like a CIA Mockingbird program, and really most of the people bringing it up are the mockingbirds and they don't really realize it they call it mockingbird because us as humans we just speak what we see you know we kind of mock each other like you read a story and then you pass it along like a mockingbird yeah so right. they literally they're smart people they know everybody loves conspiracy that's like the best way to put a story out they'll release one and then get all the people to be mockingbirds and pass it along. It's actually brilliant because then they don't have to pay anybody. They're getting all the work done for free. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why like the Illuminati stuff, it's all bull crap. It's put out by them and they're getting all the mockingbirds to pass all the false information. Like they, they, they're smart. They know that like if somebody sees a story and it's kind of like a conspiracy, oh my God, that stuff sells. And that's why they have like all the AI bots and stuff trying to manipulate comment sections and stuff. Anybody that reads comment sections is like out of their minds. Especially like if it's not the positive people, you can tell the positive people in there, but like we've said, how many times do you watch a video and you don't like it? So then you write a mean comment and then you watch that person's every other video and you keep writing mean comments. Like, what are you doing with your life? I see a video and I don't agree with it. I just go to the next video. I never write comments. Um, but this is just kind of like, like you're, we all have energy points. and They use certain geometry to steal energy from your energy point. Like uh, the outer circle would be the barrier, which is kind of why they hate circles. So then they have to be creative and they'll use like a star and everywhere it touches the outer circle is an access point to the center. And since we're so asleep, we have no idea what's going on. That's why they want you to be the walking dead, because then they can steal energy from you and you have no idea what's going on. Completely against our will, because they kept it secret. So that's kind of explaining that symbol for you. But it also it goes into like high, you know, this is like the most basic and there's multiple things for all of this stuff. Now I want to tell you um This one has multiple different meanings. Um, 
when you start opening up your portal, which is in you, and you'll start seeing it if you raise your internal sun, these things come in and they're like little men and they hold these hooks. They actually look like they're holding a staff, but really they use it like a, you know how like they do that thing where they pull person off, like a person failing off stage with the hook thing? You know, like on TV uh, shows. Sorry. Like the big cane. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Like these things are like little beings and they'll come in and we all have energy lines, you know? Um, and you start seeing the energy lines more when you raise your eternal sun. And a lot of it has to do with, um, a lot of it's your third eye because your third eye is like your portal kind of out of here. And these things come in with the hooks and they try to manipulate your energy lines to keep your portal closed. Like they'll grab onto the lines and pull it in certain directions and, um, Manipulate it. They're really annoying. Uh, your center circle. What exactly is that? Allie just drew something like that. Um. Well, there's one in you, and then there's another one by the sun, and then there's you know a bunch of more universal. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the one that's like inside you, which you would access through your third eye which is why they have everybody so terrified of their third eye because if you have it activated one you and you're far enough along <clears throat> you can see these things that come in and work for the negative side and try to keep you shut down you can see when they're trying to pull energy from you to eat it um, you start seeing the geometry and how they manipulate it and try to keep it shut down um, and a whole bunch of different things. You know, I'm still trying to learn a lot more, but these things are trying to keep you completely shut down. Like that center one, which is purple, they pulled the bottom part up and the top part down, and it creates like a, almost like a figure eight and like the square and compass almost, and that just makes it so you can't, I don't, it just manipulates it. And then they have one that's more like the crawly symbol, but not related to your not related to your picture. It's just something they use because they're all universal energy signs for different purposes. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And these guys are literally. Um, if you're able to check your messages on your phone, it just sends you a, a text. I, oh, yeah, I love that picture. Anyway, you know how Ali is. She always draws stuff that we're doing. What do you think? You can show it on Zoom if you want. She'll be cool with that? Uh, I, I say so. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be all right. I'll get to it. This actually looks good because they manipulated everything into like straight lines because they can um, you know they like are you showing it on they, zoom huh are you showing it on zoom I don't see it not yet I'm getting to it oh, okay. they like straight lines that's why like all the AI stuff is a lot of it is like based off the of straight lines um, and originally this stuff was more curved just like this and then they pulled the lines so that they would be straighter because they can work with straight lines but they can't work with curved lines as well so this is actually very interesting I've actually seen something like this but I'm still trying to figure it all out you know what I mean yeah. Like the the lines in the center keep getting adjusted kind of and really it's all our higher selves working together, you know what I mean? But it's trickling yeah. down. That's just a really cool take on it. I just 
for some reason that looks really that doesn't look cool to you. I don't know if it's right. really cool, but um, I'm trying to wait to stop here so I can read the text. I'll be stopping here in a second. The oh. current, like the current lines are better because the circle, the strongest shape there is. You can, it's like an arch. You can push on a circle from every direction, and it's very hard to break into. But straight lines, they can find weak points. So it said, um, she said she can't get enough with the gold bit, whatever that means. And yeah. she said it's all she's been thinking about yesterday and today. You, you, yeah. you know her, she doesn't write a whole lot of words. Yeah, I need to talk to her. I've been so, like, isolated. I get that way. I stop talking to people. It's just how I am because yeah. I'm dealing with so much ridiculousness that sometimes I just, like, need a break from everything. Yeah, I hear you. But this picture is really, um, I like it for some reason. It's pretty. It is, yeah, it's really, I mean, that's such a cool design. Even if, it, you know, whatever it is, it's such a cool design. It, it kind of reminds me of a cross between the, tried the diamond pattern we did together. Yeah. And a cross, and a cross between the flying rainbow lasagna. Yeah, it, looks it does. Like a cross. That's the first thing I thought of. It looks like a cross between the two designs melted together. Yeah, and it's like they took, they're taking the diamond pattern in the center and making it curved again because it makes it stronger. You know, it's a good way to kick the stuff out of there that's not supposed to be in there. It could be a cleansing system. Yeah, it could be that. We could use it to cleanse out the, uh, the the third field of physics in the middle where they got in with the Alistair Crowley symbol. We could use that. Because that's physics there. We could use that physics. We could activate it, make it go 3D, spin it, turn it into a cleansing pattern. Yeah. We eventually got to get them out of We eventually got to get them out of there. I think it's already starting to happen. That's why you're seeing stuff slowly start to change in reality i mean it's still like so completely evil here in so many ways and ridiculous but at least it feels like certain things are changing a little bit oh well, they are i mean we're i don't think we talked about this or maybe we did um well, i put it on patreon so i didn't it's not on youtube yet anyway um yeah. basically in a nutshell um been working with some people call them Arcturians, Palladians, whatever. They're, they're actually, you know, beyond the physical universe type beings at this point. They've evolved quite a bit. Yeah. So, lack of, lack of better words, they call the physical dimensions, you know, 10 through 0. And so I've been working with them and brought in energy through the wormhole from True Source Scott Crater. The, the dumbed down energy, you know, goes to my duty station, and then I throw down the wormhole, and they, I locked in on them and gave them a whole bunch of energy, and then they rearranged it again to dumb it down some more so that the human beings could receive it. Plus, they can, they're more local than I am, so they can create a better, beautiful pattern for it to flow down nice and easy, you know, where I just send it in like a torpedo. So it will spread the energy out in a more fluid pattern and also be more in tune with the folks that are here on this planet. So the ones that are awake can lock in the energy, pull it in, stabilize it, and amplify it, and, and, you know, keep it here in this reality rather than it just vibrate through, you know? Yeah. And then it's also for the people who are not awake so that, that they can tap into it and begin to wake up. And that's like the primer to the big the bigger event. Yeah, that's good. And... What people don't realize is a lot of these patterns and shapes that are changing are directly getting translated to the sun. Because the sun originally had a completely different pattern bouncing. You're, you're muffled now. Your voice is muffled. Are you talking away from the mic? One second. All right. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, just all of a sudden you sounded, your voice quality went way down. You sound yeah, muffled now. My stupid speakerphone, my 
phone's all of a sudden acting weird. Oh, I guess they don't like this message. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Well, I mean, keep talking. I can hear you. I just thought maybe you're talking away from your phone, that's all. Yeah, I'm just going to pause for a second and sign out and sign back in. Starting. So, yeah. um, Like this pattern, people don't realize, but these patterns get like directly translated to the sun because the sun is kind of like when they put sand on a speaker and they play different frequencies, it creates different patterns. Kind of the same idea with the sun. And that's why when the patterns change in the sun, they try to use technology to change it back to the old pattern and or cover the skies, um, do anything they possibly can. Because if it's not the patterns they want, the energy will get to us and wake us up and start really messing with their game. I mean, it's insane. They literally like, I don't know. They have like stuff ready to start war if they need to. I mean, they'll go to any lengths, but it seems like there's something out there trying to make sure all that doesn't happen at the same time. No, I agree. Yeah, I don't think they're going to allow any nuclear bombs going off. They better not. I'll be so mad, especially with what I know now, because literally there is so much stuff watching um, that, I mean, there's going to be so much stuff watching that happen, and they, they have the means to stop it if they wanted to. I'm talking here and there, because especially right now, um, You know, that blue and red orb are coming in and there's life on both of them. But everything's being watched and monitored. And they know if you have a good heart or a dark heart. Um, Really, in the beginning, I mean, this has been going on. They didn't want people to know they were here. Because you get the best idea of who people are when they have no idea that you're around. So, like, all these people with dark hearts and doing things that are just so evil and bad even people that are just trying to spread misery um they're being well, watched they, even hide from their own, they hide from their own masters i've seen it happen i mean I've, yeah. I've been on a i've been on projects experiment zones you call them and they're just you know goofing off having a great old time hurting people and all of a sudden one of them goes they're coming. And then goes, they're coming. They're coming. And like a relay, like a warning system. And all of a sudden, they, they stop partying. They jump up. They start cleaning. They act like church people, you know? <laughs> yeah. Is, and I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? You just did the most disgusting, appalling thing in the universe. And, and then someone yells out, they're coming. And it's like, mom's home. Mom's home. You know, and everybody runs and cleans up the party, you know? Yeah, and, and now it's you know, stuck. And then the, part, the party's all cleaned up. There's no trace of a party. They spray the air freshener. Everything they looks good. And then mom comes home and goes, oh, the place looks better than I left it. Very good. <laughs> yeah, and now it's stuff that's even beyond what they were being controlled by. And they've been, like, monitoring the whole thing including here. So it's all like, do you have a good heart or a dark heart? And really the ones that have the dark hearts and they know who they are. Um, The joke is kind of on them. I mean, all the good hearted people keep it up. Um, Don't let them bring you down. It's going to be tough, but let those people be nasty and crazy because really the jokes on them and some of them are starting to realize is it? Yeah, you know, you know they were told there's they told there's no consequences. They can't do anything to us. You know, oh my god, we, yeah, we're gonna win. Lie to you. you know, they believe that they're gonna be in control and power and gain more power and control, and they think it's just gonna keep on going. Yeah, no, that's all. They're just. 
being told whatever they need to be told so they keep doing their job, basically. Right. Yeah, basically. Which yeah, is like, and they laugh at us saying we don't know anything, but they don't, they're the ones that don't know anything. So. Yeah. yeah, in a lot we're of talking about the riff for, for the people that are saying we're talking about the riffraff, the lower realm, the lower beings. In particular, the hybrids. You know, the hybrids are just lied to like crazy. Oh but also, God. it's insane, like... Well, it's insane how they believe they're superiors. I mean, I can't believe how these... I've heard these superiors talk to their underlings, and they. And I'm sitting there going, this is, like, worse than Fox News. It's so blatantly a lie and obvious, and apparently I, I, didn't, I didn't drink the Kool-Aid. I wasn't under the spell, so it didn't affect me. And I'm just like, you guys believe all this shit they're telling you? You're nuts. Yeah, it's I'm all like, you think, you think I'm, I'm like, you think I'm crazy, you think I'm nuts, but you guys are the ones that are completely delusional. Yeah, and it goes really far. Like, even... I was brought somewhere... Well, they're born, they're, well, they're born into it, and they're raised into it, and it's all they know. Yeah, and then certain aspects of black ops got into it. Because I was brought somewhere one time, and... Oh, there's black... Uh, I told you, Army's huge, in it? There's yeah, I was going to say Army. Um, oh, I was in a room, of Army. and I was with a bunch of people I know, actually, that I grew up with. Like, they group you in groups, and everybody was hypnotized. And I, like, broke the hypnotism, and I looked, and there was an Army general there, and I asked him, I was like... I still remember the guy's face. Um, I asked him what was going on and he looked at me and he just laughed and he said you're all hypnotized and i was just like okay and i started like saying more stuff and he like snapped his fingers so somebody would come in and they inject you with stuff to like put you back under so yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they're doing stuff yeah, I've, never been, I've, I've never been too fond of being drugged no, but they do it all the time. People have no idea. Oh, my God. They drug people all the time. That's, like, one of the things. If I start breaking the hypnotism and, like, being a problem, they either use that black box or, like, people will come and tackle me and inject me with stuff. Uh, well, the good news is those injections, they charge the people money when they use them just to make sure that they don't use them unless... It's an extreme measure, so oh, they're not good. they're not supposed they're not supposed to run to the drugging right away. Good, so but, they hate me. I've cost them a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why well, I, I heard them bitch once. Uh, they're like, "That's a thousand dollars a shot. We can't use it. What the fuck?" And the girl's like, "He's losing it. He's going crazy. He's gonna rip a whole reality. And then we're all gonna be fucked. We gotta spend the thousand dollars. We gotta do it." And they're all fighting and arguing, and then they fucking drug me yeah like the one time they had me in this room and i was really aware and they didn't know it i was acting hypnotized they had me in this room and this lady was trying to pose as something and they made stuff go wrong and then i asked i was like where am i and they said it was the angelica tribeca some ship angelica tribeca they were just making stuff up but the one girl was, the one, yeah the one girl was trying to act like she couldn't hear me and i started looking at her i'm like you can hear me i know you can hear me and she like shook her head and then i was like see you can hear me and then i was like i know this is all bull crap you guys are taking people up here and you're doing that. like i started flipping out and her eyes got huge and she like then tried to shift it like I had to go into surgery so the people could come in and inject me. I mean, it was so messed up. But yeah, they just don't know what to do with us when we wake up in there. Yeah, on to a new topic because we might start seeing these things here. On that earth that's a layer right above ours, which I believe they're trying to lead people to, it's like completely locked down. They have crazy technology. Like if you try to use any of your abilities... Um, they know somehow and one night I was like looking out my window and I was doing something I tried to use one of my abilities and all of a sudden out of a distance I thought it was a plane 
a thing that looked like what's on the screen came flying up to my window. It was like a really advanced drone like this. It was a police drone. And on the bottom of it, it had a box and it was a camera on the box. And the thing was like right outside my window and it actually had a speaker on it. And they were talking through the speaker. And I like even tried to like lay at the bottom of my window so the camera couldn't see me, but it had something on it that could see through walls. And I was yeah. like, wow, this thing is gonna, they're gonna wind up having these things here. I mean, unless they just set this other place up and that's where they're trying to lead people. Because, I mean, this thing was advanced. This thing was, like, the crazy... You know the ospreys? How they can, like, move yeah. their wings? This yeah. thing was like that, but it was, like, it was a drone. And it was completely... It had cameras. So I figured I'd show that. I mean, just I see the craziest stuff going on. Yeah, I don't see a picture of it. Oh, I had it up for. I saw Allie's picture before this. Yeah, here I'll I'll put it up again quick so you can see. How do you see it? Oh yeah, maybe I was driving. Uh, yeah. Huh. Um, Emulate the amp being too. <laughs> That looks like the amping. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. And I mean, it's all hidden. Oh, here's another thing I want to show people. This annoys me so much. How come every time the Soho messes up and the sun moves away from the dot and it looks like this, nobody's questioning why the sun is a big black hole in the middle of it? They'll like act like, oh, well, this is just NASA touching it up so it doesn't mess with the cameras. But no, <laughs> they put the dot in front of there to hide what's really going on with the sun. Okay, I'm not going to get into that too much. Actually, what that is is actually from behind what you see in the sky, the, the sun you see in the sky. Like the main sun you see in the sky is to block what's behind it. And now that what's behind it is starting to shift out from behind it like this, that's why people are seeing the double suns and stuff. And they're writing it off because they don't want people to know what's behind the sun. Maybe it's an entry and exit point. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> like, it's all hidden in plain sight. Whether the people know it or not, who have they been tricked into being loyal to? <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Seriously, and I'm not saying people in the military are bad, because most of them don't know, like, the deeper layers to all of it, but... Well, it's not like they're the ones designing the patches. No, exactly. It's just the ones up top. I mean, I remember being in the military, you know, because I was in Airedale, and I, you know, I've been, I've been to a lot of squadrons and looking at their patches in person, and I always tripped out on it. You know, back then, you know, I didn't know crap, and I'm looking at these, you know, these pilots, and I'm just like, what the hell is that thing off your uniform? <laughs> I, yeah. I used to think that's so unprofessional. That doesn't look that so not military. You got this cartoon thing on you. <laughs> yeah. I always thought it looked so out of place when I was in the military. I'm like, what is, what are you, a bunch of cartoon artists? You're, you're, you're like flying a multi million dollar aircraft and dropping bombs with cartoon characters on you. I'm like, what's, what, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> it's all hidden symbolism. And really they've been getting humans to do all this stuff to each other to go against our free will basically yeah I don't know but um uh, it's just blown away how compartmentalized the military is and how nobody knows what the hell's going on even even people in the know because it's so compartmentalized you just you never get the whole picture 
it just it's it's mind boggling how many secrets you can keep even like a hundred feet from me they kept this one secret for three months from me i i was a little suspicious i kind of wondered about it and then one day i found out and the thing was a hundred feet from me no and holy shit how is this whole fucking operation that commands this huge Battle group. <laughs> it's a hundred feet from me. There's there's all these people in here that I've never seen before. I'm like I'm like, how the fuck do you guys get in and out the door? I go, I've never seen one. I just you guys are like like I I made the joke. I like you're like aliens. You pop into existence and pop out. And the guy looked at me and he smiled and he said, "Well, that's part of our training. We can't let anybody go in that see us go in here or leave." And he said, you're our biggest problem because you smoke cigarettes and we got to look out for you more than anybody because you're cruising around the halls and you're delivering messages and you're out and about. And he's like, one time I had to wait a whole freaking hour before I could go to my office because of you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the beauty of the chain of command. <laughs> I'm like, you couldn't go to your office for an hour because of me? He's like, no, those are my orders. No one could see me going in or out. And he's like, you know, I was like, I was wondering why I never saw you guys go in and out. No, so they had to, they kept the location secret, and it was 100 feet from my desk, dude, for three months. Three months, yeah. the whole command people, I'm talking equipment, the whole nine yards, for three months, 100 feet from my desk, and then people going in and out. I never saw anybody go in and out. Yeah, that's so it's the weirdest thing. And for months, I'm like, I'd be like talking. And I have an officer in my chief. I'm like, I'm like, where do these people work? They're like, you don't have the security clearance for that. Don't question it. Don't ask that question again. And I'm like, but you know, you know, like we, I'm like, holy shit, where do you come from? You know, an officer come walking in, you know, and he have to go to the safe to get something. And then, and then I try to jump up and see him, see him leave. And the dude be gone again. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't even catch these people. They were so yeah. fucking good, man. I still don't know how they got in and out of there. <laughs> yeah but that's how they do it like with a chain of command only the people up top really even have a clue what's going on yeah. you only know what you need to know but this picture i don't know the right eyes will see it this is actually one of the birds sitting on my fence i caught it because they come through the energy yeah. layer getting a side view of the bird head mm -hmm. i'm just like going through there was one picture I want people to see, though, because these are the things that a lot of um, the ones in the know work with, and they go around and implant thoughts and stuff. Oh, my God, tell me it was deleted from my phone. Probably was knowing because they're really hard to get on camera, but this one stayed manifested a little too long. And you got to look really close by the tree. If you look really close, you'll see like a little genie looking thing smiling. And they're in the dimension right above us, and these things can come around and um, they've been doing it forever and plant thoughts and I mean you really got to analyze it and look close this is one of the little gray men like one of these things is what pulled me out of my body by my ankles and slammed me off the walls <laughs> they're real and they do the shh sign the thing over the mouth it's these things if people really stare at it, they'll start being able to see it. But they come in that energy layer, like right... Because they're in a reality right behind ours, but they can like reach through and do stuff. And these things are everywhere, and people have no idea. That's why like people in the know that like make deals with these things say like, all of a sudden tomorrow everybody wants a hula hoop it's like the biggest thing in the world and it kind of like exploded out of nowhere like how the heck did this happen everybody just like knows about these things and wants them 
That person probably used these minions to go around and implant the thoughts in people's heads. Yeah. But that's starting to go away. But um, I think that should be good for now. It was kind of random, but I yeah, think it's good. <clears throat> huh? Said you mean that's good for tonight's chat? <laughs> yeah, especially if you're gonna post that other video too. Yeah, well, I just got home, so I'll work on that. Get that posted okay. and post this. Video. I'll try to get them both up tonight. Okay, well, bye everybody on the recording because I'm about to hit stop. You can say bye too. <laughs> All right, till next time, everybody. Join us on the next ride home with Brian. God bless and be well. <laughs>